Late March has historically been good fishing for Team Big Red. So much so, we have dubbed it Swordfish Anniversary. We join Tony, Luke, Campbell and Josh. It is 6.30am, half the crew is still asleep and they have just hooked a marlin. Good luck, Tony! <laughs> Man, I was dead asleep, eh? I'm not surprised! Okay, Campbell! Yeah? Um, I'm going to see you get the sandpole along the front left hand side of the boat. It's up by the couch. You got your marlin, Josh, you wanted. <laughs> His first marlin. What time is it? Are you looking forward to drinking crackers? <laughs> <laughs> And your undies. The boys then jumped on to hook them up to help them boat a nice blue. Over the next 24 hours, my absence becomes apparent. For some mysterious reason, there is a real lack of video footage, but the boys continue to fish. At 12 p.m., it was Campbell's turn. Hooked up to a swordfish, but pulled the hooks after a short battle. 2 p.m., hooks up. Capturing a swordfish, estimated 50 kilos. After a much needed sleep and the effects of pure inebriation wearing off, the boys are back at it, but they still somehow lack the ability to turn on a GoPro. But by 10 a.m. they're hooked up again. Luke's back on the rod, landing a nice swordfish, estimated 130 kilos. Later that afternoon, amazingly, the GoPros decided to work. So we catch up with the team, hooked up again, Josh on the rod. Yeah, I feel alive! Keep on. <laughs> Tag it now. No, it's gonna get shorter. Tag it again now. Nice work. Tags in. Woo! Good job. Nice it's a good fish, eh? Oh, it is isn't dicey. Oh, man. Let go if you need to. Where is it? Let go. Let go. Okay, put all the drag in the world on it. Woo! Thanks, bro. Move across. Go with it, bro. 
Hold it tight, double wraps and shit. Go to the other side. Nice work boys, awesome. Fuck it on. Boys fish for a few more hours. But the bite had gone quiet. They returned home. Another successful sword fishing anniversary. I got it on the phone on video. Holy fuck, sir. Shot, brother. Thanks for watching. Cooking!